So we just completed this election learning that probably about 69 to 70 percent of um, American Jews voted for the president, voted Democrat, which is probably about four to five percent uh, down from 2008. Um, what does this mean about the Jewish vote? Th th this was an election about the economy. So the economy really did trump all other big issues. I, you know, um, it trumped Israel for Jews. It trumped religion for evangelicals. Um, you know, th there were a number of people voting for Obama because they were concerned about what a Romney administration would mean for their bottom line, for their checkbooks, and for their health care, and for their taxes. Um, you know, we'll have to see what happens in the next four years and the relationship as it develops between our country and Israel. And you know. One of the things that we've seen is that American Jews seem stubbornly democratic. We, uh, we hear from some polls that Americans living and able to vote in Israel uh, for the American election uh, were favoring Romney. Um, Jenny, how, what do you make of this uh, distinction? I mean, I think on a purely selfish level for Israelis who are living, for Americans who are living in Israel, um, the number one issue or the only issue on the agenda is really will this president be good for Israel or bad for Israel? And though some may think that Obama was good for Israel, I think that a view in Israel that was kind of the majority was that he was not. Um, and so people were throwing their vote in with Romney, kind of regardless of other issues. I mean, I think it's been fascinating. I spend a lot of time looking at um, the, the numbers of Jewish voters in each presidential election since, you know, FDR, and they never really changed that much. I mean, they do change with the tide. So if, you, you know, less people were voting for Obama in general, he won with a smaller margin, so Jews kind of followed suit. But overall, it's always, you know, very much um, 70 to 80 percent. You know, when, when Reagan won with a landslide, it was more like 60 percent. But um, that, it's was a, that was another economic, example, right. example of sort of going with the tide. But, you know, I think that, you know, for, for most of us, the, you know, these issues of social justice are as important to our Jewish and American identities as what's going on in Israel. And there's also the second tier, which is that, to, you know, um, there's a strong backlash, I think, against believing that a vote for Likud is a vote for Israel's security. 